how I shot this creative music video using one light in one location. Music videos like this are always super fun because you're just limited to one space and you've just got to use what you've got and you're really forced to become super creative with it. This music video in particular was with an artist called Bradley Jago. I really hope I'm not mispronouncing that. Sorry, Bradley, if you're watching and it is something different, but I'll leave the name on the screen and you can be the judge of it yourself. But Bradley's such an awesome guy, super charismatic, super, got such a good character, um, such an all round nice guy as well. It was such a pleasure working with him on this music video. And we originally were meant to shoot back in September of 2023. We, we couldn't quite line it up and he actually wanted to change the song that he was releasing his uh, EP with. We completely scrapped the previous concept and we went with a new one. Bradley come up with this whole concept, had it all planned out in a storyboard and everything, all the shots he wanted to get. So I was simply just bringing it to life, but his it all came out of his incredibly artistic brain. Something that I really believe brought this whole video together really nicely was his outfit choice, especially in all the other music videos I've shot. I'd probably say this one, the outfits are the best. They take the cake because they're so, so cool and they go exactly with his character and exactly the persona he wants to get across. And they're just awesome. I know we spent ages doing it, so credit to him for, for putting all the outfits together. So like I said at the start of the video, this whole music video was shot with using one light. I used the Forza 60 with the dome softbox with the black grid over the top of it. I used the Fusion in most shots because it really gave that soft texture and uh, I was really trying to create that triangle on the side of his cheek and I think we did it really nicely. I actually had the light in the softbox on a C-stand that was just above his eye level looking down on him. So you really, it really created those white specks in his eyes that really bring out the details in those close-ups. And something I'm really happy with and I'm really happy that I was able to achieve. Took a little bit of like back and forth of getting the light in the right position, but... I think it looks awesome and as close-ups go, I, I don't think you get too much better than this. I did also sometimes position the light just pure harsh light on Bradley because in particular that the scene with the stars coming down from the ceiling, which by the way looks incredible and took about an hour and a half, two hours to set it up to, to get all the right positioning and the height of the stars. I really wanted to use a harsh light on that because as the light spun, it I could just see the glimmers of like light bursts coming off them as, as they slowly twist around and you can only really get that with harsh light. So I opted to do that. I do think it's a little bit harsh on Bradley. I also do think it gives a, a really different look compared to the other scenes, which is important when you're just in in one location and you've got to try to make scenes look completely different and, and, and be creative with it. But it really created these nice blossoms on the stars and, and another way that I helped that along, I used the Tiffin Black Pro Mist 1 8th I believe on my lens which really softens the screen. There's loads of videos about them on YouTube if you don't know about them but I would highly recommend it if you're going to go in for that dreamy look. They, they definitely do help especially with the highlights and it really just creates that soft glow around it that you can't really replicate. And we have such a cool place in creative music videos like this. And following on from kind of like lens effects something that I've never really done before is is use lens filter effects and in this particular case I used the kaleidoscope one. I just got off Amazon it's a super cheap one. Uh, in the calls I had with Bradley when we were planning and, and kind of talking about his ideas he was really keen on getting this look across and I'd never used one before so I was also super excited to try it out and see what looks we can create and he really wanted it to be quite prominent in the video. They look awesome we, we, we did we did a full run through uh, with his whole face in it when you're getting all those kind of movements and it looks really awesome and they also did a close up of his mouth where we really get across those punchy lyrics that are in the song. Especially in music videos like this, the, the magic really lies in the editing, if I'm honest. Um, especially when you're just in one location and you've got to try to make it look as interesting as possible. And especially in this instance, the, the, the song length was like five minutes. So we had to get a lot of footage to make sure it didn't become boring for the audience. And I, I really do believe a key part of that is the edit and the, the editing flow and how well you can edit the video. Especially in the, the fast upbeat moments, it's, it's doing those fast cuts that keeps the audience engaged, but then also slowing it down in particular points. Points. Like there's definitely a rhythm in the editing that is super key to, to try and do with these sort of videos. We actually shot every scene in this video the whole way through for the song. So Bradley sat there for the full five minutes, performed the whole song in every single scene we shot. Just so I knew I had enough in the edit to cut between because obviously it's a five minute song. So I needed a lot of footage. So it was really key for me to do a run through of every single scene just so we knew we had it and I could cut between it in any instant. And that's what's allowed all the fast cuts because I just I just knew we had we had everything we needed. And that is super important to do in, in, in music videos like this where you are just in one scene you do need to kind of overshoot and make sure you have a load of variety and in, in angles and and expressions and lighting and all this other kind of things because it can get boring if it's just in one location so 
the, the, the magic really is, is in the edit and, and how you edit it all together. The biggest thing I've actually learned from this music video, away from kind of like the technical side of things and something that I'm really going to carry forward with me and have it fresh in my brain. Bradley messaged me a couple of days after and said how comfortable he felt during the shoot and how nervous he was before. And he didn't know how it was going to go. It's his first music music video he's ever done. And he just sent me a message, a really lovely message saying how comfortable I made him feel and how ease I made him feel to for him to feel like he can get his charisma and his character and, and really shine in the video. And it wasn't until he said it that I, I kind of really took it on board because then I look back of all the other music videos I've done and that's often a compliment I get. And I, I do believe it's one of my strengths and something that's super important in music videos or in this filmmaking world is how comfortable and the relationship you build with the talent and the person who's going to be in front of the camera. Because if you make them feel awkward or they feel like they can't be themselves around you, that's only going to replicate in the video away from all the technical side of things you could be the best filmmaker in the world but if you can't make your talent feel comfortable and feel like they can blossom and and show their character then it's irrelevant how good you are because if you can't do that then you're not going to get good results with them being in front of the camera and i really took it on board what he said it was it was a compliment that it went very far it was a simple one but it went very far because it's probably one of the biggest compliments you can get as a person as well especially in this job when there is quite a few people out there that are a bit weird and uh probably won't make you feel comfortable Comfortable. So it's definitely something I'm going to take with me forward as well. And, and hopefully everyone who has worked with me would, would say the same thing as Bradley. I do take quite a lot of pride in that. Definitely worth a mention of an important takeaway from this video and something maybe that for you to think about uh, on your next project. But hopefully this video has given you a bit of insight of, of the process of how we made that music video. You can watch it with the link down below and go support Bradley. He's an amazing guy. He has such a bright future ahead of him. He's already crushing it at the minute. And if you, if you like that sort of genre, you like the soul jazz world, then definitely go give him a follow. Show his support on Spotify. He's such an awesome guy. But anyway, that's enough for me. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.